One, two, check. Ross Roots, put your hands together once again to Ross Roots. Yeah, Ryan T. Next up, I'm gonna call to the stage is a young lady. She uh, performed with us before. I'm gonna call up right now. She goes by the name of Natalie Walker. Show your love and put your hands together for Natalie Walker. She's in the building, y'all. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. There is just no way you couldn't see. I have the sun, so I have the sun in me. You must have allowed your darkness to make you blind. Even my shimmer shines way too bright to deny the sparkle of my light because it comes from the master and he's who created the glitter kind. The honor will never be mine. He's perfected me in his time. So right now, I'm still learning how to work it. Yet I know God hears every sound if you try to tear my talent down. But it's what God gave me, so I'm thankful for every little bit. You can't emulate my moves or rush in front of my grooves. That's just me, and I'm dancing in my stride. It's not in the clothes I wear or the outer beauty I bear. It's all about what's going on the inside. From no power of my own, I could never flash on the moon. I must give God the glory of my shine. That's why I'm not afraid to lay low and let those around me glow. Because what's for me, that's already mine. My smile, that'll always come through, no matter what you say it through. I'm not allowing your shadow to block my rays. I'll always stand bold. I'm not letting you have that control. I'll just focus on the illumination of the days. See, you were so stuck in your way. You missed the luster of my play. But my twinkle, that'll frolic on without you. Now I'm going to pray that you see the light, although you'll never make me lose sight, because it's my shine that keeps me doing what I do. My shine. The next poem I'm going to do is because there were so many lovely men here. <laughs> I have to always do this poem because I love my black men. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. <laughs> and this is called, oh, okay. <laughs> This one is called Awe Inspiring Black Man. It's the rhythm of your step, the lyric in your tone, understanding beyond belief in the twinkle of your eye, the smile in your heart, the power in your hands. It's the love in the spirit that keeps the continuous tie. There's brothers in afros or a sport in a twist, curly waves or a baldy with a clean cut shave, a rough neck child, a Wall Street kid, uniquely expressing yourself with locks or a low cut fade. Oh, you're not a race of dogs or an animal of any kind. Underneath, I can see past the jagged exterior. Completely gifted, creativity abounding, truth be told, it's your splendor that makes other men feel inferior. See, I understand you. I realize your plight, even the brothers who aren't exactly saints. Ultimate protector, mass destruction shield. It's your nature that will elevate you out of a world constraints. I'm an awe-inspiring black man fan. The breath of your nose, your soft, supple lips. This beautiful creature has been unappreciated for so long. All the shades are black, your sizes that vary. Even if you're five feet tall, you still stand large and strong. Your sharp, pretty tongue, just as sweet under stone. I'm so mystified by your undeniable charms. The broad width of your chest, the mighty force in your reach. I feel completely safe when I'm wrapped in your arms. I don't want no other. They just won't do. Please help me and make it my adoration of you stand. Appreciate our strength and embrace my loveliness. Have an undying admiration for this or inspiring black woman. Proficient speeches or comfortable street slang. So filled with a brilliance, I can't keep my eyes from the tears. A southern drawl or a Caribbean accent. 
It's really only your words that can softly caress my ears. See, I really, 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 really don't want no other. They just won't do. So please help me in making my adoration of you stand. Appreciate my strength and embrace my loveliness. Have an undying admiration for this or inspiring black women. See, this poem is meant as absolutely no disrespect to any other man. It's just that I am truly an awe-inspiring black woman that's a fan of a black man. And this has been my ode to you.